stop since you joined the band. Hey, they inspire me, and they totally treat me like one of the guys. I knew I was in when they started burping in front of me. I wonder Nikki and Ethan are a perfect match. When we were in fifth grade, Nikki could burp the entire theme song to friends. Speaking of the perfect couple, you are not going to believe this. Tell them. Okay. What Samantha Slinky plays here next week, you guys are going to be the opening act. No way! Nikki! You're taking too long. Ethan, this is amazing. It's an incredible opportunity. Absolutely. Their manager will be here, plus all their record company people. Okay, those are the guys who can decide if you get a career. Now you're freaking me out. No way! You're gonna be playing right here where we hang, like, every day. Total home court advantage. Yeah, but we gotta get a new name. Nobody's gonna wanna pay to hear a band called the Itchy Boxers. Sierra. You are great with this stuff. I bet you could come up with a great name. Oh, no problem. Castelli and I will brainstorm a little. It'll be easy. Well, while you guys are doing that, I'll be supervising Ethan's makeover. What kind of makeover? Nothing major. Just sort of a top to bottom. What's wrong with my top to bottom? E, if you're gonna be a rock star, you gotta look like a rock star, not just some teenager. Here, check out this ad for the Samantha Slinky CD. Now they look like rock stars. Mm, they are pretty hot. Yeah. I never really noticed what a perfect body Samantha has. Really, that is an amazing body. It's almost scary. Mom, what happened to the cheese puffs and the cookies? There's like nothing to eat in here. Of course there is. There's granola, sunflower seeds, dried fruit. Did Mikey get a hamster? There's gotta be something in here. So, how's our big star? Completely cheese puffless. How can I get ready for this gig without my comfort food? I'm guessing we're on a diet. Well, I certainly am. I was thinking about wearing my white slacks to Alicia's concert. When I tried them on, I looked like a minivan in stretch pants. Well, it's easy to put on a pound or two over the winter, but honey, you really don't need to worry. Yeah, Mom, you're in great shape. Thank you. You're both very sweet, but actually, I do have to worry. You know the women in my family get hippie when they get older, so I can't let things go. Oh, I wish I had listened to my mother and started being more careful when I was Alicia's age. Well, I don't see any problem. Thank you. I appreciate you guys helping me avoid temptation. So, you think just having a can of cashews around would, uh... Okay, okay. Nothing like a tall, cold one and some dried apricots while you watch the big game. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Hey. hey, Nick. Ethan, I asked you to come in the clothes you're playing the way of the concert. And these would be them. Oh, dear. Guys, I'm out. Ethan needs me to go on an emergency shopping expedition. Don't worry. I'm going to find you the perfect rock and roll wardrobe. Oy. See you later, Yoko. <laughs> All right, Moses, how can you not have a favorite color? I didn't know I'd need one. Why am I being interrogated here? Sierra, we may just have to start inventing names. This whole match the band's personality thing isn't happening. I know. They've been zero help. Mm -hmm. We should call it cheese puffs and chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there some obscure musical reference I'm missing here? No, but that's what I've been craving all night. My mom went on a diet and decimated the snack cabinet. Your mom went on a diet? Really? Does she look like you? A toothpick with a butt? <laughs> hey, there is a name for the band. Toothpick with a butt. <laughs> Alicia, you ready to rock? Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. It's all in your hand, that's all we 
is what he said to find love, love yourself. Look into the mirror, do you see the fear in love? All right, this is war. There's only room on that stage for one of us. So I finally took a good look in the mirror and I realized JP's right. I do have a humongous butt. Oh, what you have is a humongous imagination. Alicia, you know JP was joking. <laughs> yeah, but there's truth and humor, right? When I'm on stage, I want people listening to my songs, not looking at my wide load. Would it be wrong for me to slap her right now? Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. I know in general I'm thin, but that only makes it more noticeable. I mean, my butt looks like it belongs on somebody else, and I wish they'd come and get it. Alicia, this is not a problem anybody else can see. I mean, it's not like my ankles. What's wrong with your ankles? They're not there. It's like my calves just suddenly turn into feet. So I don't really have calves or ankles. I have cankles. Oh, you see, this is why I never read fashion magazines. I think they spread insanity through those perfume samples. Oh, come on, Castelli. There must be some part of your body you hate. I never thought of it before. But I have been walking around for months with two hideous brooks. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. They're named Alicia and Sierra, and I have to have them removed right away because they're both crazy. Mmm, uh. spaghetti smells great. Mm. But I think I'll go for the skinless chicken breast and broccoli with you. Really? What happened to that girl who was suffering from cheese puff deprivation? She wants to be in good shape for her concert. Ah, well, it's kind of bland, but it's definitely healthy. Honey, if you want to join me, I'd love to have the company. Cool. And for dessert, we can split a fat-free sugarless breath mix. <laughs> <laughs> We have a much better view of your butt than you do, and nobody sees a problem. Well, you're not the one who's going to be compared to Samantha Size Zero Slinky. <sighs> okay, that's ten minutes. Good, because I'm exhausted just watching you. Then close your eyes, because I've got to run the stairs 50 times. Hey, Alicia, you know I'm all for training hard, but uh, you might want to take a little break between these psychotic episodes of yours. Oh, hey, Nikki, come on in. What's up with Booty Girl? You don't want to know. You're right. What I want is to show you my crowning achievement as a shopper. I found the perfect outfit for Ethan to wear to the concert. What do you think? Well, it's a definitely rock and roll. But it's a lot wilder than anything Ethan ever wears. He needs to look wild. This is the music business. They pay you to be crazy. And Alicia's gonna make a fortune. Man, I promised Alicia I'd come up with a name for the band, and I'm totally flunking. Okay. How 